My name is Leona Santiago. My Tlingit name is Kakwe. I come from the Gooch Hit. I am Kaguantan. I am uh, the leader for the Eagle Raven Dancers. It was passed on to me by Agnes Bellinger. Agnes Bellinger started the group in 1982 in Seattle when she was going to college. She taught many, many people the songs and the dances, and some of them danced, started their own dance group. She took a bunch of us down to the Goodwill Games in 1991, and we were open ceremony for the Goodwill Games because the Russian athletes wanted natives to do the opening ceremony. We were there with 500 other natives. So I introduce to you the Eagle Raven dancers. Mary Folletti, can you come up? Mary's going to do the intro for the song. Nichish, Tarjini, you had to a sock. Yan Masha Kaguantana, I had. Ach ish has trug nach adi, ach ad has trug nach sha. Ach tlif go has gan nach tedi gan ach chish hati adi the kat Johan. The first song that we did was a song that I composed in 2004 when we were out in a canoe. It's an outside song and um, that was my first connection with the canoeing culture. The next song we're gonna do is an entrance song. And I don't know, is Colleen or Lyle James in the house? They're dancing next, so I believe they're getting their dance group ready, but the next song we're gonna do was composed by Colleen James, Doc Hitlach. She's gone to Adi. And uh, that song came to her last celebration when her cousin, Michael Dunn, was missing in a fishing boat. And their family was out looking for him. And she dedicated this song to all the Kaguantans because it was the Kaguantan people who were there for her and her family when they were in a time of need. Achoe ya achi, Kaguantan hastu ya ya achi. This song is given to the Kaguantan by Dake Hlech. We just want to say Gunalchish, Colleen and Lyle for teaching this song to our group. Gunalchish.
They've worked hard. There's one thing that we did before we came out is we said some prayers because we have lost some loved ones that are connected to our dance group. Our Aunt Louise Light and Phoebe Warren, Lloyd Grant and our Uncle Horace, our Johnny Marks, and uh, Jackie Johnson Potta said a prayer to help smooth our journey out here. Um, right now we're going to do a Eagle Love Song, Chusa Tuk Dahini. We'd like to ask all the veterans that are in the house to come forward so that we may sing this song for you. If you can come up front here, come along the side. And any family member that has lost a loved one to war, please come up and be by us too. And anyone that's uh, being deployed, I'd like to ask Brenda and her husband Donald to come up on stage. Brenda Chapman, if you're here, please. I would like to ask Kusin, the both of them, to come forward and have them wrap their arms around everyone that will be standing with us. <laughs> if we could have a kind of move down a little. The song was composed by Annie Hodge's, Annie Hodge's uncle from Klaquan. The composer, they said that he was down in the TV ward and that his family was told that there was nothing more they could do for him and to take him home. They used a fishing boat to take him home. They told him that he wanted to be outside to be able to watch the landscape go by for the last time. So they put his mattress on the back. And when they came around the corner by Lidnikov Cove, that is when he saw the mountain behind Klekwan, his favorite mountain. And that is when he composed the song. The second part of the story is our clan brothers, Joe Hayes, Charlie Hayes, Archie Claney, Steve Perrin, Jeff David, and Edwin Casco. They're all returning from the World War II. And the plane they were coming home on started to fly by that same mountain. And they remembered this song. And they be all began to sing it. I am sure that each of you that are up here, when you came home and saw your mountain and how you felt, this might be a hard song for us to sing as we think of our mentor, Agnes Bellinger. As we know, she is standing with us today for she is the reason we do what we do here. The first verse means, I didn't believe I would ever make it back. I didn't know if I would ever live to see my mountain again. The second verse, are you a wolf where your words of love never connect where it's supposed to? Shangu Katie Yutki. I would like Mary Folletti and Barbara Searles and Patty and Trish to come up by the mic, please.
with everybody stand that can stand. I'd like to ask Nahan to come up and say a, a prayer, especially for everyone that's standing here with us, the veterans. Cheese, 
Gunas chi swe at si at si ye protectors of our heads, ancestors, be with us now. Help lift this weight off of our our warriors. Be they through the language, through the song, through helping their people. They are warriors too. We are fighting each in our own selves, different wars. Help lift the weight off of their shoulders, our warriors, right now. Hashagenya, Kahashuka. Be with us, guide us, and protect us. That our work will be done in a good way, in a right way. Pray for our land here. We are the land. The land is a warrior. It is still with us. Pray for that land right now. Gunas chish tling get ani. Atlein gunas chish, atlein gunas chish ha iti dashi yi. Atlein, atlein gunas chish ha iti dashi yi. Be with us, be with us. Gunas chish. Oh. Thank you for taking this time to help us honor, honor the people. We have another person here that wants to talk about some regalia. Willie? Willie? As you see this young man right here, one of my dad's students, my name is William Jackson. My dad was Paul Jackson, Sr. from Yakutat. Before he passed away, he was constructing with David Hunsucker this warrior outfit that Jeremy's wearing. Jeremy is also a veteran. We brought it out. Well, we were going to bring it out in 2008 during the celebration then, but my dad passed away before then. A lot of you people know him. I got a lot of family out there. We dedicated this in, on his Kauish that year, or year after, 2009. We brought this uh, outfit out, and David Hunsucker wanted to honor my dad, so we named it after my dad, Gus Klein. The Eyes of the Raven is to honor Chief Donna Walk at the Silver Dollar. The year of the, the Silver Dollars is the year David Hunsucker's father was uh, born, so we wanted to honor his father also. There's a long story behind the twine that is twined, that's Everything's put together. During the Nakahiti time, when he was in the theater group, my dad always told them to tie it with halibut twine. And that's what these, the, the cedar planks are held together with the halibut twine. I'd like to thank the Eagle Raven dancers for allowing me to speak about this outfit. This outfit is for the veterans out there, the ones that are gone, the ones who will be gone. And it's to honor you. Gunas Chish, thank you. And we, the Sukhahadi people and Ankaraksin, who's wearing the regalia, want to thank 
Willie and his brothers for honoring us and our family for allowing us to wear this and share it tonight. Gunish Chish. Thank you, Christine, the both of you for helping us here. Thank you to the veterans for protecting our land. Gunas Chish to each and every one of you. All of North America is our land, and that's what you've been protecting for all these years. Gunas Chish. Uchin Yis is the next song. It's the Gunna Kady song. We'd like to ask the Sarabias and any other Gunna Kady if they would come up here and be with us as we sing this song.
Well, sorry, we're going to have to exit now. I would like to thank Sea Alaska Heritage for inviting us here. I'm thankful for the theme that they had, our land. That's what we're about. And we're going to be hoo-hawing year-round. We're not just going to do hoo-ha during celebration. We can't stop now, so. I just want you to know that you'll be seeing us dancing. And goodness uh, cheese for your attention. We have one more word that needs to be spoken. like to say thank you to my mom for all the hard work that she's put in and Trish McKaylee for all the hard work that she's put in <laughs> to help to help this group <laughs> every day <laughs> she's been there to comfort all of us in our hard times all the extra time that we've had to practice, helping us learn the songs, helping all the new people learn how to dance. And I just like to say, goodness, cheesh, mom. <laughs> I would like Kimberly to come forward my niece just had a baby 10 days ago. We have a brand new dancer with us. Her name is Navia, Navea. Brand new baby. The relatives of this child is Annie Hodge and Victor Hodge. That's their great granddaughter, great great granddaughter, and George Lindoff and Ruth Lindoff is the grandparents. And I also would like to note that my granddaughter Sophia danced for the first time. She's three years old, and I'm very proud of that. We have a lot of relatives here that just decided a couple days ago they were gonna dance with us. That's what Agnes was about. Goodness cheese for your attention. We'll see you again in two years. Thank you. 